Before heading to the Rio Olympics, it was a rare opportunity for Canadian show jumper Tiffany Foster to compete in a major event close to home. The 32-year-old moved to the area in her teens, and when we caught up with her, she was clearly happy to be back. Yeah, no, it's so exciting. Thunderbird here is really a place that means a lot to me. This is where I grew up riding, and I really got my whole foundation and education here. And they've always been a beautiful show. They've always done a great job, and they've always strived to continue to improve. And I think that taking even this initiative to do the Nations Cup here was a big step for them and a four-star show. Uh, I just think it's so great that they, they want to do that. It's a lot of work that goes into it. And I'm really, really proud of them for the event that they're putting on here. I had like my whole family here, all the friends that I grew up riding and working with and it was, it was just so much fun to see everybody and I know they all, a lot of them follow and you can watch online and you can watch on the TV but I think to see these horses and this level of riding in person is, is I know for me if I was a young kid and this kind of event was going on here I think it would be so inspirational and just such a fun thing to watch and so I think it's great that they've done that here. Well, at one point in my life, my uncle worked the security, my dad worked the medic, my mom was hospitality, my sister groomed for me, and my uh, cousins worked in the concession. So it's a real family affair for us. <laughs> and it's strange because my family didn't really have anything to do with horses before I decided to try to learn to ride. And we have like, actually a video of me and all my cousins lined up on a log when we were little, probably in a place just like this. And uh, my mom asking, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? And you know, the normal answers, marine biologist, you know, doctor. And then I was like, show jumper. And so I guess I knew from very early on this is what I wanted to do. Well, you know, when I first started wanting to ride, uh, it was really expensive. My parents didn't have a lot of money. And so my mom, who's very resourceful, decided that maybe I should start doing some TV commercials to supplement the, the income a bit and help myself pay for riding. So I've been working for this for like, since I was really young. <laughs> I did a bunch of commercials between sort of seven and 11 years old. And it was really fun and I actually almost got, I, I was gonna maybe go down to LA to be the part of uh, Jenny on Forrest Gump. And I didn't wanna leave because I was gonna miss my riding lessons. And so that was kind of the fork in the road and I decided to choose riding, which maybe was not very wise, but I'm glad I did that. <laughs> This is absolutely like coming home for me, you know. It's always funny in Calgary because you're Canadian and everyone's behind you, but to come here, it was really like coming home for me. And so, and of course we drew first and I had to go first in the order. And so when I trotted in the ring and heard the crowd, you just know that they're so behind you and they're so happy that someone from here has kind of made it and is out there on the international stage and you really feel how, how proud they are and you really want to do well for them. And so yesterday was just a perfect day. Yeah, well, we have one very unique aspect in that we have Spruce Meadows, which is actually a very high-level competition. It's sort of one of the best venues in the world, and that's in Canada. And then other than that, we have a few shows, and now they're really starting to kind of up their game, like this show at Thunderbird. But other than that, I think it's, it's difficult to really feel like you're competing at a very international level if you just stay within your, your national country. And I think that's probably the same for everybody. Everybody sort of moves around and, and gets to go to other shows. And if you're in Europe, there's just a lot closer countries to go to. But I think that us making the move to Europe has played a big role in us being able to be successful. I think anybody who comes from the Pacific Northwest knows that it's a really unique area and I feel really, really fortunate to have been able to grow up here. Um, it's hard to come back just because it's far away, first of all, and normally there's not a lot of competitions here. But it's such a unique and beautiful and spectacular area and I really encourage anybody who can to ever come visit here because it's so nice and it's so nice to be back because you just remember how lucky you are to have been from this part of the world and such a lovely place to grow up. So I'm proud of it and I love it and uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here.